Hey, so uh, the other day I was cleaning out my bedroom and I found a Primark gift card that my dad bought me for Christmas and I completely forgotten about it. And for a while now I've wanted to revamp my sleepwear. I've been wearing like the same pajamas for like two years, obviously washed, but um, yeah, I've been wearing the same sleepwear for so long. So I decided that I would go to Primark and get lots of new sleepwear and I got a few other bits as well with the gift card and I thought I would make a video about it uh, it's a lot of stuff it's, that's that's a lot that's a lot of stuff so thanks dad um, your money is no longer being wasted I can't remember what's in what bag so we're just gonna we're just gonna pluck stuff out and we're just gonna go through it first off I might as well start with this because this isn't sleepwear I got myself a new bag. I know that Primark bags are not like the most durable and they don't feel the best, um, but basically before this bag, uh, which I think is lovely by the way, cute little flowers, um, <laughs> cute little flowers. Before this bag, I only really had two bags that I would carry stuff around in. This tiny little like rectangular satchel thing and a really really big like over the shoulder black bag. I needed something in the middle for the times where I didn't want to carry my laptop around but I wanted to carry around more than just my purse. So I thought this is like the perfect size. Uh, how much was this? This was 12 pounds. I love like the little front pocket on it. Uh, that was super cute. I just love the flowers. I think it's adorable. It still feels like really quite solid and stiff. I'm hoping that that will go away with a bit of wear and tear because I don't like you know really solid bags. I like bags with a little bit of give. You know, it's got one of those clasps in it so that it actually like stays shut so no one can stick their hand down your bag. So whoop. this is what I like. I never carry handbags like this. I find that so unnatural and weird. I always have them over my shoulder. So. Glad it's got that. But yeah, it's 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 just a nice medium-sized bag where I can just carry, you know, a book, um, some headphones, my purse, a bottle of water, some makeup. I, I haven't had a bag that's this size in quite a long time. So I'm excited to use it. I also bought this. Um, this is just a glass jar with a straw in it. I know these things are kind of gimmicky, the whole mason jar thing but anything that encourages me to drink at home, water, not vodka, or depends on the day, anything that I think can encourage me to like drink and stay hydrated is a good thing. And I thought it was really cute looking. It's kind of a little bit like a pineapple um, and it's got a little yellow straw. I don't know, I thought it was cute. I don't know why I like it. I just I just thought it was nice. Another thing I bought were two over door hooks. Uh, these were £2.50, which I think is pretty good. Right now I have my dressing gown like hung over a door handle and it always falls off or trails along the floor because uh, I didn't have any hooks in this house and I thought they looked really, really cute. I prefer things like rose gold, but the gold is good too. I don't really know why I'm showing you two door hooks. Apparently that's what my life has come down to now, so lucky me. So let's move on to the bulk of this haul, which is the sleepwear. First up, we have this really cute button-up shirt and pants combo. <laughs> and we'll show you what they look like on rather than just, um, just, just holding up some fabric. But I've always been a really massive fan of button-up shirt pajamas. I just think they're adorable. And I just, I love this kind of like, I don't know what you'd call this pattern. I, I don't want to say paisley because it's not. I don't want to say seven is because it might not be. But I think it's super cute. I love this sort of stuff. And just the matching pants. These are 100% viscose, uh, if that helps anybody. But they are super light. They feel like they'd be super breathable. And I feel like it's that time of the year where it's, it's too hot to wear fleecy pajamas, which is what I'm currently wearing. But it's also not warm enough to wear shorts just yet. I am in shorts right now, but... I absolutely love this type of sleepwear, so uh, there's a few more sets like this. Oh, how much were they? Oh, I'm so bad at this. That set was £9 and it looked like it was reduced, so hooray for sale items! <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. Next up is another set of pyjamas that I got in the sale. These were also £9, down from £12. I'm aware these aren't as cute, but they're in the sale and also no one sees me at night because I'm lonely, so I can wear what I want. This is just another set. Um, I feel like it's the same material. Maybe it's not actually. Oh, I don't know. Is it? No, these are 100% viscose as well. I don't know. I just, I just, you know, they're not that cute, but also I don't care. They're a nice sort of white cream navy pattern and they're really breathable and really light. And I've already said all of this. I like them. Moving on. Next is a pair of cuffed leg pajama pants. These were five pounds and I just thought they were really, really cute. They're elasticated, 
which is super great. Again, they're light, they're breathable. They were five pounds. These are 95% viscose and 5% elastane, which I guess is the bit. Again, super light, breathable. Um, the cuff leg is nice as well. Um, I do prefer a loose leg, but these will definitely stay on your calf. I don't know why I did that, you can't see my calf. But they stay on your calf a little bit better um, if you can handle that. You know, they're very, very practical. They didn't have a matching top, so I bought something that will serve well in like the autumn kind of months. It's not fleecy, but it's a lot thicker than the viscose that I've been showing you. It's this, it's just a nice jumper with some flowers on it. Ooh, this is 57% polyester, 19% viscose, 24% cotton. Well, that's the shell, whatever the shell is. And then the trim is 65% polyester, 33% viscose, and 2% elastane. So I guess the first bit of what I just said is this bit. And then the second bit is that bit. Either way, it feels a little bit thicker. Um, so this would be better for when it's a little bit colder. I thought it was really cute. I thought it would be a nice jumper to have, you know. I'm fine wearing jumpers and just ordinary t-shirts in bed, so. This will serve me greatly. We finished the first bag already. See, we're pros now. Next we have another viscose double team duo squad goals. It's really late. It's like midnight now. Maybe later. I think it's later than midnight. It's another pajama set, uh, which feel like they're made of the exact same stuff as the other ones. I assume this is all viscose. But I thought the pattern of this one was really cute. Just really nice black and white kind of weird circular patterns and stuff. This set was 10 pounds. Again, it's it's light and it's breathable and it's cute. It's cute as heck. This is like my second favorite pair. I think the first one I showed you was my favorite. Next up is another pair of pajama pants that are really, really similar to the other ones I showed you. These are a wide leg though, which is really good. These are also five pounds. They're quite stretchy. Uh, they're quite thin, which is nice for the summer months. If you're someone that doesn't like, just like bare leg in bed. I don't know why I don't, but um, these are really cute. I thought they were adorable. So there, there you go. Next we have, I think this is a night shirt. Yeah, wow, Emma bought a night shirt. This was four pounds 50 and it's really long. I don't know why I bought a night shirt. I guess it would go with the pajama pants, kind of. Uh, huh, past Emma, you have surprised me. What's this made of? What's it made of? It's important to me. 65% polyester and 35% cotton. So it's pretty breathable, you know, I just, Thought it was cute. I needed another top to go with the two bottoms that I bought, so it works. And also, you know, if it's really hot, then I can wear this and not have to worry about bottoms. So that's really cute. I like it. £4.50, can't go wrong. Next we have another pair of pajama pants that don't go with anything, which is sad because I think they are great. But I have been lied to. <gasps> no! These are supposed to be small, these are a medium. Um, so I'm not sure I'll be able to wear them. But they are these pajama pants. Again, it's that really sort of psychedelic funky pattern that I love. This is like an actual paisley pattern. So, oh, they're really, really cute. They're wide leg. I love this, uh, I love these tassels. They look like they would tighten the waist, but they're not, they're just sewn on, which is interesting. Oh, that's why, look, it's a medium, but it's got the small sticker on it. You betrayed me. They also got pockets. I love pajamas that have pockets, because why would you need pockets in pajamas? Like, especially small pockets. It's not like you can carry around like popcorn in them, you know? Why do why do pajamas have pockets? I think it's great. I love it. Just put your hands in and just be cozy. And finally, at least I think, on the sleepwear side, we have this, which I thought was gorgeous. It is a mini mouse. Kinda it's not silk, but it's gonna be something. It's that thing that feels like silk. Just a nice uh pajama shirt and I've always liked the feel of these. I like the sort of, you know, I don't want to say I like slipping and sliding around in bed because you guys are going to be weird. But it's also uh, heavier than the viscose material. Again, it'll be good for when it's slightly colder, I think. What's this made of? I simply must know. Is this polyester? Is this what polyester is? What is it? Am I wrong? 100% polyester. Oh yeah, I know my fabrics now. I oh, know, it's cute. It's got its own little pocket again. You know, all about the pockets. And this was seven pounds. Uh, reduced from 14, which I think is a bit of a steal. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy with that. And finally, we just have some other bits and pieces that I got from Primark that weren't sleepwear. This is just a really, really thin cardigan that I bought. We're coming up to that time in the year where you no longer need a coat. You can just go out in sort of light gear, but you can't you can't just wear a t-shirt. You know, it's, it's not that weather where I live anyway. It's the thing we live in by the sea. It sure is fresh, but oh boy, it's cold. Why is this a four? I didn't want a size 4, this was supposed to be a small... 
You know what? I must be going blind, because I swear that this said small on it, but this is extra small. I should be able to fit it. I want to find out now. It might be... This is going to be too small for me now, isn't it? Lo and behold, though... Well, Emma, size 4 blackery over here. Check this out. Dang. Thank goodness for elastic, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I just thought it was nice because it was really light. Um, and actually, just having that on, just now, in like last like 30 seconds, it's pretty warm, it's pretty toasty, which you wouldn't think, because it looks quite thin. This was seven pounds, um, and I just thought it was really nice for spring. I like greys. Apparently, you know, black, white, and grey are my favourite colours to wear. If you've seen my wardrobe, you would know that. Next up, I bought two t-shirts that are basically the same, but in reverse. So you got a uh, plain black t-shirt with white... What do you call them? What do you call this? A hem? No, a trim, perhaps? I don't know. It's got a white collar as well. I know, I've always loved those sort of t-shirts. I think they're cute. This was £2.50, which is really, really good if you like basic tees. I think that's a really, really good price. And I also bought the same one in white with a uh, black hem trim thing as well. Um, they're just good basic tees, you know, that you can uh, you can jazzercise with some nice cardigans or fancy bottoms, you know, plain tees are underrated. Next I bought some underwear, which no, I'm not going to try on, use your imagination. Or better yet, just go on Pornhub, you know, don't get where people are asking me to show my boobs and stuff. There's a world of boobs out there. Anyway, these are just uh, three, like, um, I don't know what you call them, just really wide boxes, like boyish short things. I don't know what you call them, I'm sorry, I don't I don't know the name of them. Back in the old days, when I was like 16, these were called boy shorts, so I'm gonna call them boy shorts. Um, you know, it's not, it's not the most progressive of names, but we're, we're gonna go with it. So we have this sort of uh, grey jersey effect one, we have a black one, and we have a white one. I've always found these really comfortable, like they sort of grab around the hips, rather than sinking too low. They don't pinch around the cheeks, you know? That's the worst. How does anyone wear a G-string? Sorry, that's a bit far. Anyway, this set of three was worth uh, five pounds. I think it's kind of expensive for underwear, but um, yeah, they're comfy and they're gonna last a long time. Next up, I bought some chokers. I know that like not everyone likes chokers and people say weird things about people who wear chokers. I think they're cute, but essentially I only bought this set for the first one, which you can't really see, but it's this white lace choker. The other two, I'm not all that fussed about, but this one, I really love this one. I think that's gonna go great with like a light denim jacket or just, it's, it's a really kind of spring, you know, kind of thing. I don't know, I liked it, so. This was a, uh, this set of three was two pounds, which is super good. I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it. I don't know if this is gonna be too big or too small for my neck. They don't come in other sizes, so. I guess it'll be fine. But yeah, this white one was just, I don't know, I just thought this was really, really cute. And last but not least, this is actually a, uh, a bit of a sneak preview for a video that I'm hoping to film for my main channel in a couple of weeks' time. This is £12, and it is a denim shirt. Why would Emma be buying a denim shirt for a video, you ask? Hmm. Either way, it was £12, and I would never normally wear it, because I'm not really... Not really into the denim thing, but otherwise, no, I, I don't think I'd ever wear it. Maybe I would. I don't know. Not really my thing, but the things I do for you guys, you know. Anyway, that is the end of the haul. Yay, we did it. Um, I know most of it was sleepwear. I'm fine with that. Hope you're fine with that. I don't know if I'm going to ever do more hauls, especially now that I have a Patreon, which is linked down below, because I feel like it would be weird for me to make videos, you know, showing you guys, oh, hey, look what I bought with my money, which is actually the money that you guys gave me, you know. Obviously this was done with a gift card, so I don't feel too bad about it. In fact, I don't feel bad about it at all, but I don't know. I'd like some opinions on that in the future, you know, because because I, I want to still, you know, buy stuff. I have to still buy stuff, but now I feel like it might come across a bit weird, so let me know in the comments below, because we can have chats like that on this channel, which is what I love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna film the uh, top 20 My Chemical Romance songs video in the next few days, as well as talk about my accent because I feel like that's a video that's very long overdue. My voice has changed a lot over the years. I know. I think it's time we talk about it. I hope you're having a lovely evening and I will catch you all later.